Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love MMA as much as I do. Now, I know Jared Cannonier got a big victory over Sean Strickland. He didn't rob him. Nothing, there was nothing wrong with the decision. I felt like he did more than enough to win the fight, but it was a really good fight. So shout out to him. Shout out to Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland, keep your chin up, man. You're a really good fighter. You're an entertaining fighter. You will never be a boring fighter. So anytime you go to the press conference, I'm going to be watching you, whether in person or on screen. So keep your head up, man. Now, um, I really wanted to talk about Randy Couture and Vanderlei Silva, you know. Uh, I don't normally do a lot of history stuff on my channel, but it's MMA. It's sports. So this does make sense. And I wanted to get your guys, y'all's opinion on, on, on who would have won a fight back then when both guys were in their prime. Anywhere from 2004 to 2007. Their best years, you know. So... At light heavyweight, Randy Couture was light heavyweight champion twice. He's beaten Chuck Liddell, but he also lost to him twice. He beat Tito Ortiz. He beat Vitor Belf Belfort twice. Excuse me, I'm having hiccups right now. And then Vanderlei Silva was a pride champion. He dominated everybody. Knocked out Rampage twice. He had beaten Sakuraba three times. Finished him three times. Uh, he's beaten a lot of good fighters. Arona and everybody. Pride Grand Prix champion. Randy Couture was also the UFC heavyweight champion. <clears throat> this is a fight I think Randy said he really wanted, but he was in the UFC at the time, so I understand why it never happened. But I want to know, who do you guys think would have won this fight? Well, let's look at stylistically. Vanderlei Silva was a very aggressive striker, a uh, very dangerous guy on the feet. He had knees, he can throw big punches, he can knock you out with one punch, you can have Sakuraba. Uh, he can knock you out with knees. He was very okay with putting you in the clinch and controlling you with his knees. Um... He never really submitted anybody throughout his career, you know. I mean, he had submission victories, but he was an aggressive striker. He was a brawler. So that means he's going to win most of his fights. He also lost a lot of his fights uh, later in his career. Let's look at Randy Couture. He's not really much of a brawler as Vanderlei. He's a more calculated boxer, but he's a very good grappler, a good wrestler. He can submit guys. Um... He's beaten big names at heavyweight and light heavyweight. So that I don't think that makes it more impressive. His resume is more impressive, but it has nothing to do with how he would beat Vanderlei or lose to Vanderlei. I think Randy Couture would have won that fight. I really do. And, I, and think about it. Um, I'm going to do a Dan Henderson, Chuck Liddell edition next. But um, I just think that uh, even though Vanderlei could have knocked out Randy Couture, he could have dropped him with a big punch and knocked him out like that. He could have put him in the clinch, hit him with knees. Randy Couture's... See, styles make fights. Every time you have a different fight, it's a different matchup. Randy Couture's ability to wrestle and clinch wrestle and box within the clinch and probably put Vanderlei against the fence, neutralizing his striking ability, would have probably won that fight. If you look at how Chael Sonnen beat Vanderlei, he beat him with grappling... He got lit up several times in the fight, yeah, but he was able to smother Vanderlei and tire him out and keep, keep him on the ground. I think uh, Randy Couture would have done a similar thing. He probably would have beat him about the same way. Not to say Vanderlei couldn't have won that fight. He obviously could have. That fight could have sold, would have sold. But I just think Randy Couture was the more complete mixed martial artist in terms of stand-up and on the ground. I do think his stand-up was good enough to hang with Vanderlei, given how he does his stand-up, he's not going to stand there and brawl with Vanderlei. If he would have done that, he would have got knocked out. But he would have took that fight to the ground or, like I said, put Vanderlei against the cage. And even though Vanderlei is good in the clinch with his knees, here's the thing. I'm Randy. If I have um, Vanderlei right here up against the cage and I'm holding him against the cage and I'm kneeing him in the stomach, that's keeping Vanderlei from throwing knees at me or hitting me as much as he wants. And Randy Couture is a patient fighter. He's willing to pick you apart and, and, and hold you down and control the fight to get himself a decision victory. That's probably how he would have beat Vanderlei Silva, most likely. So if I had to put my money on it, I would have put my money on the natural Randy Couture.